Guys, in this video, we are going to be putting a SNE online with the system. Uh, one thing that I've done already is gotten with our IT group, got them the MAC address or the MAC ID for this particular device. That way, they can assign a, uh, an IP reservation based upon the MAC ID that will make getting into this just a little bit easier. That way, I can just go ahead and put it on the network and get everything set up with them on that. What we have is we are bringing in a power meter. We have a power meter installed in the switch gear. Uh, this is just a Dent Industries Power Scout. These do connect through uh, BACnet and will give us the ability to read the usage for this particular gear, for this particular building, and be able to, uh, you know, for the appropriate building and that sort of thing. But uh, this is just a simple process, just a simple video that I wanted to do and bring you guys along. We are now at the point where we are ready to turn power onto our SNE and get it set up, let it come up and be able to pair it with the server, name it and all that sort of thing. Again, setting the IP address based upon the MAC ID is something that your IT should be able to do and make the process just a little bit easier for you. So now bringing power onto the unit and we should be ready to go. Hit my switch. Okay, now the unit is booting up. I'm going to let it boot up, and then after it goes through its boot up cycle, I'm going to log in it, log into it using the launcher tool. I take the IP address that IT has provided for us and put that into my launcher tool. And once I discover it, I can actually name it, create myself a shortcut as well. And then once I save it, I can then launch into the device. It's going to give me this window here. And once I do the update, it will pull up SMP for that device. If you guys remember from my previous videos, you'll know that uh, one thing you have to do with an SNE is you have to demote it when you pair it with the server. So what you do, I, of course, what I've done on this one, I've already renamed it to the uh, name that I want it to be. And under the focus tab, I have now browsed back into the engine. Uh, and now under the focus tab for the site director and repository, I have to enter the information for, uh, for those. You know, I do have to enter the information. You can see currently that the local site director that this engine sees itself as the site director. That is going to change. This is where I would enter the IP address for my server and then once you do that uh, it is going to ask you to enter the login credentials so the device can log into the server you know that's part of the uh, security feature with some of these newer models with the SNEs so that's what we're going to do now to where we can pair it with the server and then begin building the uh, rest of the system out and pulling our meter into the system pay attention to this network tree you can see here how that it shows the uh, engine underneath the site you're going to notice that change here in just a few minutes once I pair this engine with our server when you go to pair the server uh, you enter the IP address for your server this is the window that's going to pop up asking for the login information to your server once you enter that information and press OK the SNE will reboot Okay guys, our engine is now live with our server. You can see it right here. Now what I need to do is to uh, start setting up the network. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight the engine and I'm going to hit this plus sign in the upper left hand of your screen and I am going to insert an integration. Okay, this is typically what you would do when setting one of these up. Uh, you do need to tell it what type of network that you are going to be connecting to it. Of course, this is going to be an, a BACnet MSTP. So this is basically standard procedure. If you've ever set one of these up before, you're very aware of it. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you some of the steps in MUI, showing how that uh, within the MUI 12, within Medicis 12, that this is currently, uh, you are able to... Uh, basically configure the system fully you know from uh, MUI 12 and I'm just going to change the name of this just to go along with the way 
that uh, the way that we typically name them and you can see there once I hit that hit next and just follow through with our prompts on everything and you can give it a description this is all of your configuration stuff that you would normally see within Metasys and I could do the same thing if I was still live on the device but I just thought I'd take a few minutes to show you this process using MUI. We now have the integration we now have the integration right here that uh, we will be attaching our meter to so now I'm ready to put power on the meter and start discovering points. See that our meter is powered up. Uh, I have already configured this meter as far as entering the type of uh, CTs that are on it as well as all of the communication issues or uh, communication settings. In fact I've got another video on my channel where I show a little more detail about how to set up one of these Dent Power Scout meters. It's very easy to do, just a few basic steps and once you do that uh, with this communicating via BACnet, I can pull this directly in on the trunk. I wanted to browse back in and show you. You can see now that uh, the device, since it is paired with the server, it no longer sees itself as the site directory. You can kind of see how the uh, tree is uh, visually showing now. You can see that it is no longer uh, does not have the site up here the way that it did previously and of course with it being paired with our server it will not have that but i just thought i would take a minute to browse back in directly and show that to you all okay guys i just thought i would show you just a little bit about the viewpoint software this is the software that you would use for setting up the dent power meter and you can see here from this screen this is where i would select the ct type uh, whether or not I am a Y Delta, uh, that sort of thing. And it is, there again, it's very easy, very uh, intuitive to do this. Now your communication setup for these meters, this is something here. What you will need to make sure of here is that you select the proper communication options. You make sure also that you set all of your baud rate and things like that properly as well. Set your device address, any kind of identifiers, things like that. If you do not have this set up correctly, your meter is not going to communicate. Now, I have already got this meter configured, as I mentioned earlier, but I just wanted to take a few more minutes and just show you a little more details about this. And now what we are ready to do is actually start trying to pull the meter into the system. And for doing this, I'm actually going to be doing it straight from MUI just to show you guys that the system is much more fully functional. So I'm going to highlight the trunk where I want to add this meter. I'm going to go up here to the plus sign. Okay, This plus sign right here, when I click it, it's going to give me this pop-up window. From this pop-up window, I will select field device. Okay, I want to do a discovery and then when I click discover it's going to go out and actually locate any equipment that is on the trunk. You can see here that it located the meter device 4. Okay, That is exactly what I want it to do so I am going to press next and when I go to this screen here it gives me the option of naming it and of course I do already have a name for this so I'm just going to paste that name in uh, from here I can set the uh, you know the authorization category uh, that sort of thing whether it's general for this particular device since it is uh, an electric meter I'm going to select power uh, just as a general rule on this and I'm going to select create it will then add it to the trunk and give me the option now to add field points where I can close. I'm going to go ahead and grab the points. I'm going to do the discovery. It's already selected for me, so I hit discovery and then it will go out there and grab all of the points that the meter has available. Now it'll take it just a few minutes, but it will go and pull each of these points and then you can go through and select from the list 
exactly which points you want to pull into your system. Uh, it's just a basic checkbox and I'm just letting this run and that way you guys can have an idea of about how long it can take for this to populate. Okay, it can take it just a few minutes before it will actually get the window populated and I do know that it is communicating and you can see here this is all of the points that are in the meter currently. I'm going to go ahead for this particular meter and grab all of these points. I'm going to hit next and I'll come back later and clean them all up. This is of course giving me the details for those and I'm just going to go ahead and hit create and it will pull all of that data from the meter. Okay, it literally, it will be able to uh, bring all of this right into our system and have it available for uh, the way that we would use it. Okay, we do have a couple of things here that it's trying to grab, so we're just going to let this run on through and go from there. Guys, it has now pulled all of the points into the system, and I'm going to be going back through this and just cleaning it up. Uh, which is very easy to do. You know, I do not need all of the points that are currently pulled in, but I wanted to just grab everything and show you guys how uh, that you can pull in your points, your field points, directly from MUI. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. Be sure to check out all of the links down in the description. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel, and we'll see you next time.